flattened shadows or cross light. After teaching a lot of studio lighting, I found that in the beginning, a lot of early starting photographers are afraid of shadows. And you shouldn't be because shadows give drama and dimension to a shot. Now, that being said, I'm not saying every photo needs a lot of shadows or dark shadows. But if you're going to reduce shadows, you want to be careful because you want to avoid something called cross light or not purposely flat light. What happens is that the main light's on one side of the face, the fill's on the other at equal power. And usually what happens is you get a shot that looks like a mug shot, like just totally flat, no life. Sometimes you even get cross light, which means the lights are on too far to, of the outsides of the face. So the outsides of the face are bright and then the inside of the face is a little darker and then you get cross shadows from the nose. It is as unflattering as possible. All right, so let's compare some photos here. In the first shot, a lot of beginning photographers think these shadows are too dark. It's not right or wrong, it's all about the mood. But let's say you want to add a fill light to this look. But when I add a fill light, let's take a look at the difference. The light I've added on the left is coming from the side of her face and it starts to look really, really flat. See how her face looks a little wider and, and greasier? Uh, if you reduce shadows, it doesn't mean you have to eliminate them. Remember the purpose of the photo. My recommendation is if in this shot, the first one, you thought that the shadows were too dark, instead of turning up a light full power or even above the power of the main light, I recommend you use something like a white reflector, which will more subtly fill in the shadows, brighten up the photo, brighten up the shadows, but not flatten out the photograph. And you can see an example of that in this shot. So if you think shadows are too dark, don't necessarily add another light and just light from the left and right. This is actually how I started my early portrait photography. I thought shadows were wrong, flat was good. That's not actually the case. So consider subtle fill instead of overpowering the shadows.